Should you be including annuities in your portfolio? We're talking today with Stan, the annuity man, and he'll tell us why or why not. So Stan, give us an overview of annuities and how they should be included in a portfolio. Annuities should be looked at solely as transfer of risk products. You should not look at anything other than the contractual guarantees inside of an annuity. Does everyone need an annuity? No, I, I use an acronym called PILL, P-I-L-L. -L. The P stands for principal protection. The I stands for income for life. L for legacy, the other L is for long-term care. So principal protection, income, long-term care, legacy. If you don't need to solve for those problems, you don't need an annuity. So how would a person know whether he or she should be buying one of these products? Well, let's just take income for, that's, that's a hot thing right now. And annuities were developed for income hundreds of years ago. That was the original structure. They've turned into some hybrid products, but at the end of the day, they still are the only product that will guarantee a lifetime income stream for as long as you live. So right now, with people living longer, a lot of baby boomers retiring, 10,000 a day, one of the main concerns is outliving your money. I don't want to live you know, till 99 and run out of money. With annuities, you can transfer that risk to the insurance company and say, I think I'm going to live longer than you think, because they're going to base the payments on your life expectancy. So in essence, you're taking the bet. You're saying, I think I'm going to live longer than you, the insurance company, think I'm going to live. And if I do, you have to pay me. Now, one of the things that people need to realize is if you die early in the contract, all of that money is going to go to your beneficiaries. The insurance companies do not keep a dime. I make sure I structure all of that money to where all of the money that's unused goes to your beneficiaries. So you get the, the lifetime income payments, but also the satisfaction knowing that the money's going to go to who you want it to go to. Now there are a lot of products out there. How would mm -hmm. a person choose the right one? There's thousands. And, and you know, for me, um, you know, I used to be a, a, a broker at all the firms with big names that you all know. And I left because most annuities are sold within a 30 mile radius of where the agent lives. And most of the agents pick a, one annuity probably because they want to go on some trip that the annuity, you know, if they sell enough, they get to go to Cabo San Lucas. Okay, and that's not the reason to sell an annuity. They're not one size fits all. So I came out and said, okay, I want to kind of be the national consumer advocate for annuities. I want to explain to people how they work. If you go to my site, standtheannuityman.com, I've actually written something called the Annuity Owner's Manual that you can download the PDF or I'll send you a hard copy. And it's really a primer, a cliff notes on annuities that you can read 24 pages and go, I get it. Maybe it works for me, maybe it doesn't. Thank you for joining us today, Stan. Thanks. This is the moneyshow.com video network.